For this recipe, we're going to need thin sliced steak, half a cucumber, spinach, bean sprouts, sunny side up eggs, shiitake mushrooms, and some sauce. Here we're starting off by marinating the thin slices of steak. You're going to need one tablespoon of soy sauce, two teaspoons of brown sugar, two teaspoons of sesame oil, one teaspoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of scallions, one clove of garlic min minced, and everything but the bagel sauce. Marinate for 15 minutes. Cut the cucumber julienne, add some sriracha, salt, and generously mix. For the shiitake mushroom, you'll need eight ounces of shiitake mushrooms, thinly sliced. Add two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of sesame oil, salt and pepper, set aside. For the bean sprouts, you'll need one tablespoon of sesame oil and salt. These are your toppings. Start by cooking the bean sprouts. In a large deep pan, add one cup of water and bring to a boil. Add the bean sprouts for one to two minutes, stirring and remove and drain. Place them in cold water to stop from cooking and then drain it again. Place aside in a bowl, add the sesame oil and salt. Bring another cup of water to boil, add the spinach, and stir for 30 seconds. Remove, drain, add in cold water to stop from cooking and drain again. Make sure to take out as much moisture as you can with your hands. Cook the shiitake mushrooms in the same pan. I just add olive oil and wait for it to heat up. Add the sliced mushrooms, sesame oil, and salt and pepper, and stir for about three to four minutes. Set aside on another plate when you're done. Cook the marinated steak. Heat the large pan over high heat and add cooking spray generously. Lay the beef down. Cook for about one minute and then turn the steak and cook for an additional 30 seconds. Since it's really thin, it doesn't need that much time. Set aside on a cutting board and slice. Wipe the pan down or use a new one for the eggs coming up. In each bowl, add the sushi rice and top with steak, spinach, mushroom, cucumber, bean sprouts, and kimchi. Add a sunny side up on each bowl and drizzle that delicious bibimbap sauce on each one. Enjoy!